Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are at a brand new plant shop today in Boise, Idaho. I got here right as they opened because I was terrified that there would be people here and I haven't filmed in public in a minute. So I was like, I wanna try to get here before people get here. But I'm really excited because there's some seriously cool plants here and some plants that to see Devin, who's also here, and I have had to drive all the way to where? Big city down south. That right. big place with the big plants. Two hour drive. Oh. What city is that? Uh, Twin Falls. Twin Falls, thank you. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, we've had to drive to Twin Falls before to see plants like this, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you everything. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'm gonna include all of this shop's links and then also address down in the description, so you should definitely check them out. Okay, I'm gonna give you a flyover, and then we're gonna actually get into stuff. The owner's requested to not be in it, so I hope you guys aren't upset about that. If you are, you can... No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Respect her privacy. So over here, we have some Spathophyllum Domino. These are peace lilies. They're actually super luscious, and she told me she does get these in from Florida, so you're gonna see, I mean, a lot of really massive plants. There's lots of Diffenbachia and Sansevieria. These Diffenbachia are $26. We have some aloe vera up here, as well as some cute little ant plants. Oh my gosh, they even have the names? I've never seen that before. Hydnophytum poofii. What an adorable name. I have one of these, it's just really, really big. This is a very young ponytail palm. Mine is 65 years old. This is what I was really excited about. They have this really nice vanilla planifolia orchids. These are super big and they are 46.68. I mean, I can't, they're bigger than my forearm. And then they also loop around themselves. They're so big. I think this is in, Oh, this is a, okay, so this is Philodendron Goldii. I was like, this is the tiniest mature Syngonium I've ever seen in my life. This is a really, really nice house plant, and this one in specific is $28. I've never seen them so small before, I love that. Here we also have some Hoya pubicalyx. These are $15, and these are the spotted ones. These are a fan favorite of mine in particular because I love the spotted freckled leaves. They're kind of like a less expensive Hoya Wilbur Graves and they also grow way faster. So if you've wanted like a Wilbur Graves and you just don't wanna spend the money on it, this is a great dupe. Down here we have a ton of Sansevieria and these are super, super full. These are $21.47 and then we have some smaller ones. We have some seriously large, uh, gosh, plants on stakes. Yeah, these ones are micans. Look at that, that's huge. I'd normally have to run one of these up my wall to get them to do that. You know, I should plant one in my Ikea cabinet and see how big I can get them. Cause my heteraceum is pretty massive right now. So I want you guys to just prepare yourself because plants like this take a lot of time to grow and then they take a lot of money to get them across the country alive. So you're gonna see some more expensive prices and I don't wanna see anything about it because I know you guys aren't used to seeing uh, prices for plants that are big. But this is pretty standard. This is $200 for this massive Mykins. Grown as big as it is, brought all the way across the country into your local store. And you're gonna see a lot of prices like this in here because she has lots of plants that are bigger than me. I can't show you a comparison, but this is as tall as I am and I'm wearing platforms. So yeah, most plant shops can't afford to bring stuff like this in which is why we have to drive to bigger cities to see things like this, at least for us in Idaho. Look at this, this is a philodendron bipenifolium. This is huge. Look at all these vines in here. That's so many different stems. That's crazy. Mine is super small and it grows in my Ikea cabinet. I don't think I've actually ever seen this grow outside of a humid situation. Look at it, it's so cute. Then we have a massive Cebu Blue. This is an Epipremnum. Oh my gosh. Devin, come like look at these leaves. These are bigger than my whole hand. Dude, I know. If not, like already, like some of them in here. I haven't gotten to check yet. Oh, look, it's starting to right here. Oh yeah, See? in that one right there. Oh yeah, right here. That's a really good one. That's nice. 
It's my, a beautiful leaf as well. It's very dark. My friend Alex that I was talking to on the phone earlier, I was showing him some of my plants and he was like, so I saw some plants in your video and I saw that they have like these cutouts in them. And I was just curious if that happens naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so those are called fenestrations. And it's because these are plants are epiphytes. So they grow on other plants. And so in order to get light down to the roots, because these are meant to grow in big forests, they have uh, fenestrations in their leaves so the light can get through the top leaves to the bottom ones. And he was like, ah, oh, well, in my profession, we call those cutouts, so I'm just gonna keep calling them that. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Just no, like, I know, and he was like- here, I'm gonna cut my plants. Like. When he literally, when, <laughs> when I told him about them, he was like, and those just happen naturally, like you don't just, you don't cut those in. And I was like, no, I don't use scissors and cut holes on my plants. <laughs> Unlike that one poor girl on Facebook, I don't know if you saw that, the one that wasn't a shit post. Was she like trying to make like a variegate something out of like a marble pulpit or yeah, something? Yeah, she cut holes in it. Yeah. Oh God. No, it's so nice. Have you ever seen one grow outside of a terrarium? Uh-uh. Yeah, me either. It is really humid in here though, so. We have some staghorn ferns. These are so adorable. Up here, we have these huge variegated Hoya carnosa compactas. These are $200 and they are super long. This one's a little bit smaller, but it has a whole lot more vines on it than the other ones. That's so long. I wish you guys could understand. That is literally so, maybe you can tell, I don't know. It's really hard to show. I don't think I have any of these right now. I think the only variegated Carnosa compacted Evan I have is the tiny Mauna Loa cutting I stuck in my, oh, no. in my cabinet. Look at the albos. Oh, I'm sorry. So their little propagation station. They posted a photo of this on their Instagram. Check out this guy. This is a massive squamiferum, I think. He's so big. We have a cute little Rifidophora tetrasperma. This guy is $37.15. These are bigger ponytail palms. Another squamiferum. Gosh, these are massive. I've literally never seen anything like this outside of cactus and tropicals. Massive, this is a pothos. Well, I guess, okay, epipremnum pinnatum. Little marble. We got a neon one. This one has a name that I don't remember right now. Devin, do you know this one? This isn't Jacenia, is it? Oh, well, oh green, okay, because right. it, it, like, it looks different on the bigger leaves, but then when you look down here, see? It's like beautiful fishtail palms, one of which I will own again someday and then not brutally murder. These ones are $272. They are much taller than me. We have lots of Sansevieria. No, I did, it's huge. Like, okay, so Devin, how tall are you? 6'1". Devin is 6'1", and this is that pothos. I'm 5'3", for example, here, will you? That's like twice the size of your head. Yeah, if I weren't in platforms. <laughs> Big Sansevieria cylindricas. These are also my height. These are at least 5'3". They're very tall. <laughs> we have some uh, Ficus triangularis back here. This is the variegated variety. These are $70. They're super cute. They're in front of this cute little window. I love these more yellow ones. I'm a really big sucker for yellow on plants right now. Smaller one over here. Yellow Yellowstone Sansevieria. This one is only $136. Me, a year ago, I would buy this so fast. That's such a good price for this. I literally paid $70 for one that was the size of the Sansevieria. Big plant friend. Hello. Dude, they're huge. I love this one. Look, it like reverted. Yeah, it's like- oh It's God. beautiful. I love all these first Gosh, things. look at this. It just fully like- This is one of the most unique. Yeah, that's paint. so beautiful. Like, isn't that awesome? It really is. That leaf in particular is so good. Even though, like, they're really very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's only $76. <laughs> you should get this. Bring yeah, it home. Dude, put it in your fucking entryway. Look at this leaf. <laughs> you could give it to me for a brief time. Oh, gosh, look I at the back of this it. leaf. Really? Yeah. Yeah, guys, just bring it over. I'll take care of it. I'll do a series where I talk about it once a week. I'll be like, this is Devin's Monstera. You know what's funny too, is that this is literally only this big because of how green it is. 
Oh, that's really nice. Oh, this one. Yeah. Dude, I was like, this is nice, that, yeah. but that looks kind of normal. So unique. Oh, that's so pretty. Gosh, this one's so cool too. And the reason it's just, it's it's got so much green on it. So yeah. it photosynthesizes so much better than the other ones. There's actually a lot of plant girlies that are anti-variegation. Like they hate it because it's really? technically a deformity and it makes plants grow slower and they want uh, big plants. So there's a lot of anti-variegation extremists out there. Well, I'm gonna get big variegated plants, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm also kind of really tempted. <laughs> you can share custody. <laughs> yeah, you can get it on the weekends. <laughs> we'll both buy it uh, yeah, presents for Christmas. Oh inches. yeah, for real. Look, I look at this bit, how creamy that is. Yeah. Oh God, it's so good. We have some other smaller ones here. Got this really pretty Brazil. Oh, so nice. There's also really nice pots here. I've been kind of ignoring all the pots, but there's a whole lot. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that one. I stand next to it. This is taller than Devin. This is literally like- It's actually taller than you. Like 6'3", maybe? I think it's 6'4". Cause you're 6'1", right? And it goes over you like pretty six decent four, amount. 6'4", that matters. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you have huge hands too, here. Berg scale. <laughs> oh, big fiddle leaf. Wow. This fiddly thing is $70. I never really get into yeah, well, you should now. Dude, yeah. if I didn't have two of them, I would buy this. I don't even know how I'd get it home. Actually, I have zero idea. I don't know that it, I would be able to get it home. Look how cute he is. He has so much personality. Got an anthurium over here. This is anthurium plamanii for ruffles. This one is $80. Why does the name Aurelia not sound like it works? Aurelia is... Is it really? Yeah. Why does the name sound wrong coming out of my mouth? Weird. I don't know. It doesn't feel right coming out of my mouth. Look at how big this one is. Oh, big friend. <laughs> how big that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Over here, we have some more really fun plants. Back to the smaller ones. These are silver swords. These are $26. They're super, super silvery. These are $11. It's actually a really, really good price. What did you find? What are you, what are you crinkling over there? A little fern kit. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute, yeah. Like mount your own. You know what's funny? This is actually like the perfect pot size upgrade for my ponytail palm, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would physically be able to withstand how heavy it is. Probably not. It'd Definitely very, like, not. It would, it would crush it. It's a little curly cute. Oh my God. Here we have some more exoticas. This guy is fifty dollars. He's very thick. I remember when I couldn't even find like exoticas anywhere. Dude, I know. Like Do you remember when the girlies would buy them out of Home Depot? These are so pretty. Oh, this one's really nice. And we have some philodendron. This is philodendron, heteracium, cordatum, whatever you want to call it. They mean the same thing. Some syngoniums up here. These are the mango illusion. Is it heavy? It's actually really heavy. <laughs> Watering them, I feel like they'd be like 20 pounds. They're super heavy. Definitely. 20 pounds is probably a massive overestimation, but they're they're definitely heavy. I like ficus. Can you guys tell? Wow. That's not great. Yeah. Not me genuinely considering it. No, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley size. Don't you want an Ashley size ficus in your house? <laughs> you need to buy it so that I don't. You'd be doing me a service. Oh, yeah, Rutisa. Totally missed that. That's fun. Retusa. I'm dumb. Retisa. I've decided I'm going to get this vanilla plant. And it is going to be my first purchase of 2023. And I'm not gonna buy another plant for a while after, but this is gonna be really good because I'm going to divide it and I'm gonna put it in both of my cabinets and it's gonna get really big and it's gonna go all over the place and then I'll be able to share it with friends. And I wanna have it for a couple years because I've seen people be able to get their vanillas to bloom in captivity and vanillas only bloom like once every five years. I'm gonna get this and we're gonna check out and then I'll see you at home and we'll put it in my cabinet together. Devin's gonna buy the ficus. I'm gonna do it. It's 
would be great. It's actually a really ridiculous price. Like it's not just yeah. like, there's a lot of plants in here that are so expensive. I sit here thinking for a second, I was like, hmm. You're never gonna find a ficus that's no. this big for this price ever again. <laughs> it's gonna touch the little thing. <laughs> Hello gamers. We're briefly at Devin's house. So I was just gonna show you his plants really fast as like a special treat because he has just the best plants in the world. He's also giving me a Monstera. That's the size of me. He was gonna get rid of it. Um, not like throw it away or anything. But I was like, you could just get rid of it to me and then you can still see it at my house. And he was like, bet. So it's this Monstera. He's gonna be really strong, really strong Devin guy and carry it down for me. <gasps> Cause my back won't let me carry stuff like this. Strong, strong friend. <laughs> you can't see anything. It's just- Strong friend. <laughs> Cute, variegated micans, adorable. Do you want to cut it like off it. too? Why, you just want to cut it, it? No, it's reverting. That's what I was thinking. So, but yeah, you want to give me the reverted top cut? Yeah. I just like micans. It's not completely reverted, but there's a little stripe in there. It's cute. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. I like goofy plants anyways. I'm so confused about this happy. <sighs> Why? You think it's a hybrid? No, no, it's not a hybrid. I don't think it's hybrid, but like the leaf shape is so different. Like these, I have two plants, both from Ashley. They're the same clone, but the leaf shape is so different between them. Like, And they're pure? I don't know. Are they? they this is pure for sure. This is Scott Cullen. This, they're both the same clone. Oh, from So him? this is the offset that you originally gave me. Um, be careful. There's a new leaf. And then this is the main plant that you gave me. Yeah. But the lobes, plant to plant looks so different. Like the, the sinus is so wide on this one. But so I'm just really- I think that they, they're, they're just kind of like goofy, right? Until they come yeah. in. Because I'm just this really looks, to, see. to me, this looks like how they're supposed to look. Yeah. They kind of have that thing and then they kind of billow out at the side. Well, yeah. And I just mean like, like pappies are so variable and like so different neat. forms and stuff. Look at this guys. Wow. The biggest Aslaniae you've ever seen. The Ilsamaniae. Have you checked it since? I was gonna check it today. Okay, I just because it's a fresh cut, I worry about right. it being that wet. Um, I let I let it sit for a little bit and then I put cinnamon on the cut. Okay, so. sounds good. It's Hoya oh, I love this one. I just love the ones that have like veins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think they look so cool. Breeding size anthuriums. You know. You're crazy. This is the moody item I got from you. Oh, wow, that was forever ago. Yeah. That was like before we were friends. Yeah, the first time. Like I, actually. The first time I went to your house, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad it looks good. This is from that one guy, Pinoy Dendron. After all these months, probably over a year. Probably. Oh, do you want? Yes. Do you want this one? Doesn't matter what it is. It's I want right everything. Now. It's a very good one. But it's I might perfect. kill it. Do you think it could grow in it's, a terrarium? I think so. It's. I have it up here. It's dying. My infrastructures on my anthurium. <laughs> a. <laughs> <laughs> this gloriosum is popping off. Right. Oh my gosh! Look at he's got it going into another it pot. Has, what are they? Um, they're curry trees. Curry. Yeah, yeah. You can like cook with the leaves. What? Like those are like. I think that's what curry is. Like the powder. Like of the leaf doesn't smell. Yeah. Kind of hoped it would. There's some orchid collector that had a bunch. Hey, your pilea came back to life. Good job. <laughs> I know you read me for it last time. I did. I was like, <laughs> come like, on. You're gonna skip over that plant? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. It looks way, way, way better. I actually don't. Well, actually, that's not true. I have a tiny baby in okay. my uh, red stuff. Because we could cut a baby off for it if you wanted. I mean, I won't say no. Okay. Me liking plants again. I won't say no to anything. Oh my God, it's so pretty out there. This is the best part of it. It really is. Yeah, I thought you were saying you were getting rid of this one. No, this is like a mainstay of my collection. Yeah, that you could never get rid of it. I do have to, I'm gonna have to I mean, the, like the, the fenestrations up there. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, you are gonna have to lower it. Yeah. It's also putting out another new one again. It has, I think three, three stems back here. There's one leaf over there, there's one right here. There's another one coming out back there. They're not oh as big. Gosh, yeah, they're smaller. I see them. Oh yeah. Wow. It's my cabinet. Oh 
my gosh. This is um, Ahoy, Idaho. Huh. I love it. And I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna pollinate this. God, the next this day is so two. big. Isn't it awesome? Oh my gosh. Like, literally. Put your hand actually on it. Like, oh my god. Wow. This is what my ZZ looks like, and I love it. Oh yeah, you're a chameleon? Mm-hmm. That's what I, it seriously is like, these are two are the same. You're, this is massive. And they're two different plants, that's so cool. Oh! You're going to jail? Yeah. I'm proud of you, plant dad. Thanks. You're doing great. People that can grow their plants big, I'm like, how? That's cool. Did Thanks. you predict No, I didn't, I should though. It was a photography background, but then I just don't have the lighting for it, so I just... What was it for? What were you taking photos of? I was gonna start taking, like, self... What? <laughs> Self-portraits and then also pictures of my plants. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> my my, my OnlyFans? <laughs> it was given to you from someone? No, we're giving it to someone else. There's a... Oh my god. There's a backstory why we haven't given them to it yet. I think it's two liters. <laughs> Yo, it's the plant from the convention. Yeah, still alive. Oh, it's my favorite plant. I'm just gonna love them. Oh, I just fucking love it. It is like my favorite plant. They're so cool. They're so fucking cool. They're so weird, like how flat they are. Mm -hmm. They're also very leathery. Yeah. It Pink is very different. Maybe someone who doesn't understand yeah. wouldn't think that they're different, but that is like, the color is so different. The green is dark, always. It's always dark. And then the pink is pretty much just white. And then they also have red on them, which pink princesses don't, the stem is different. See? It has uh, pink wings. Mm -hmm. And they it will always have these. And pink princesses do not. Pink princesses have chameleon variegated stems. So they're completely random. I'll always be a fuck up for strawberry shakes. I want to grow mine in really big. I think I have like every variety of arabes arabescence at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it's not pretty. It's a so cute. What is it really that pink? The the little place you were like, we should go to this place together. Oh no, I got them off Facebook. I get everything off Facebook. <laughs> is this the one from me? Yeah. Wow, that looks really nice. Okay, so Devin's moved the Monstera out because we're about to walk it down. And he goes, oh, by the way, there's a drainage hole under that. And I said, oh, okay. And then when he moved it away, there's this tiny saucer. I can't believe I'm being shamed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, if you put something down there that's too small, it'll overfill. And I'm like, yeah, it isn't gonna. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start talking to the camera and then I'm gonna talk to you randomly. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm back at home. I got some other plants. Devin actually gave me some, so I thought I'd show you the plants that Devin gave me. And then we can put the vanilla planifolia into my cabinets. He technically gave me three plants because uh, one of them is grass, like real grass. Uh, but in this grass is a silver sword. And I don't really like silver swords that much. Like they're fine, but um, he really didn't want it anymore. So I was like, yeah, I'll just take it. And then he gave me a top cut of one of his variegated micans because it's kind of reverting, as you can kind of see. It looks a little wonky, but um, it's actually super rooted. So I thought we would cut this into thirds and then just stick this in the terrariums as well. Uh, and then the micin or the monstera I already showed you. I was actually considering putting it over where my ponytail palm is maybe spread out the, the Monstera love. I was also thinking about putting it right here and then moving this fiddle leaf because I think that it would be nice um, having a Monstera over here. Actually, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that first too since it's so big and heavy. <sighs> Peace Lily looks really good by the way. It's fucking massive. I have a friend named Miko and she makes fun of me because I keep that one on the couch. Also, Alex is here. Say hi, Alex. Hello. <laughs> nice! Alex is waiting for the internet guy to come and fix his internet, and the internet guy is taking his sweet time. Yeah, he needs to hurry up and get here. And we don't have static tonight, but if 
If Alex doesn't have internet back by tomorrow, he's probably gonna miss the entire last week of the partition, which is what we call the season. It's like super not cool. Also, his internet went out on like Saturday and it's now Thursday. So it's been almost a week. Okay, that's cute. Okay, that's actually so cute. I'm gonna vomit, that's so cute. I had pulled that out a while ago and I totally forgot until like right now, so. That looks really cute, but now where do we put the tree? I guess I could put it back here and I could pull this out and then put this in front. We're really making some changes here. Maybe I need to put this pot on a smaller table. I hate moving plants around because I get really, really indecisive. You guys even see what I'm doing, like proper? You guys should get a friend that actually watches your YouTube videos and supports you. Actually, do you have ad block on? Uh, not on my phone, no. Just where I've been watching them. That's cute. Ooh, that's cute! Sorry, I'm listening to you, I swear. Well, Which is sad. Um, I don't have internet right now. Oh, right. So. But you can watch on your phone. Yeah, so I'm watching more than normal because I'm sitting on my phone. Okay. There's nothing better to do. Maybe. You know, other than what I'm talking to you, of course. <laughs> like we've already established, at least it's better to talk to me than doing absolutely nothing. Smile. Yes, it is. You are better than literally nothing. <laughs> he dead ass goes the other day. He was like, yeah, well, talking to you is better than nothing. And I was like, wow. <laughs> it take It's taking up a lot of window realty, realty right now. And I don't know that I like that. This will be ponytail palms for it. Oh, and then I could put the ficus where the other piece lily is. Okay, that's actually cute. And it'll it'll actually go under the window. And I do need to actually like pop this. Because actually I think I think this one we'll put here. Because it's taller. And then this one. We'll go under the window right here. Okay, okay. Alex, we're getting somewhere. I know you can't see any of it, but I promise we're getting somewhere. Where exactly, I'm not totally sure. I know you guys can't see it. I know you hate it when I do things you can't see. Sorry. That's cute, okay. All right, I've done it. All of that to put one monstera somewhere. <laughs> we haven't even done the other plants. Plant. Okay. This guy, I'm gonna put in here. Okay, now we're gonna plant, we're gonna plant the vanilla. What? Do you guys like claw clips? I feel like a lot of the girlies have been wearing 
claw clips lately. I feel like everywhere I go, no one's wearing scrunchies. Well, no one's wearing hair ties. If they are wearing a hair tie, it's a scrunchie. And if they're not wearing a hair tie at all, they're wearing a claw clip. It's exactly my wingspan. And I'm gonna put each of these in one of the paludarium thingies, in, in both of them. And then we're gonna plant this one. Well, I'm just gonna put it in my nursery paludarium, which is this one. I'm gonna cut some wire. And I think it would be really cool growing up our log here. Yeah, I think that that would be really cool. I'm gonna do it like this. Get another piece. By the way, to do this kind of thing, I use green floral wire. The wire looks a lot more natural too uh, than other options, so it's better than other stuff. Cool. So we got the vanilla here, and um, I'm gonna add some moss around it later. Let's go do the other one. I kind of. This section has like a lot going on, so I'm thinking maybe I should start it down low. Yeah, I think I'll start it lower and then it'll go up, I'm hoping. Oh, I think it's this way. Oh, wow. The leaves literally changed directions because of the way that they had it. We'll cut it in half so it's not all awkward. Weird. Basically, I'm just making the the little ties into little like hairpin kind of shapes. And then I stick them in and you need to like be a little careful when you stick them in because if they bend then they won't they won't actually go in. And we'll do another little bit at the top to kind of keep it cool. So the air roots will grow onto that. And then I think we'll put the other piece here. It's so great having a cabinet like this because you can just dead ass plug shit right into the wall and it will, it'll do good. So I took the mic in and I, I actually placed it here. It's gonna be really hard for you to see, but I'm starting it lower because this whole section down here just doesn't look good. And it's only gonna look good if I start putting things there. I don't wanna put things there because it's not a cute spot, but it's never gonna be a cute spot if I don't start putting things there. I know this video is like already long and most of you like are probably not even watching anymore, but I think I'm gonna go kind of nutty on this. Like I think I'm gonna, like I have a couple hours before I have to go do stuff. because where they're at, they're not doing so good. Um, like I have a Billyatia over here and it's just not doing good. Gosh, the roots are kind of all over the place. I might have to re, I might have to re-moss this. There's probably an isopod in here somewhere. We're gonna put this down low and we're gonna cut off the dying part. You even see what I'm doing? No, you can't because I am dumb. I don't really need to control what their roots are doing. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not like being super conservative about where everything is going. Um, conservative is the wrong word. Let's use the word controlling. The nice to pod, hello. Oh, hi, you're so cute. Uh, Standaliana alba variegata, except you wouldn't know that because it's so green. A way to handle your plants if they're, they've gotten too green is give them a cut. I've cut mine into four pieces and we're gonna plant these around. Yeah, I should move this whole light. The thing is, is that like some of it does need to be there, but I guess I could put it on the door, even though it's not so pretty. It'll still be bright. Maybe I should put it on the other side. You know what I could do? Here, we're gonna do this. So I have these smaller ones, and these are the mother girl lights, by the way, they're super nice. I have the smaller one here, and I think what we'll do is we'll take off the base from this one, and we'll put it on that one. Um, 
and then we'll stand it from a distance. That lady who runs that plant shop is super nice. Let's put it on the side with the cord. That would actually, you know, make sense. Yeah, that's about how much it should get. That looks a lot more even now compared to my other ones. Okay, cool. Nice, well, let's keep making it look good. Yeah, that looks so much nicer. Honestly, if I could put it, like if I could have it sitting on a little table over here. We're gonna stick with that, okay. So now it's actually got like pretty even lighting. I'm not done with my video yet, I just got bored again. Yeah, I decided I was gonna do like a lot of stuff. So, yeah. I am currently doing a lot of stuff. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh God. Um, and I, I'm like, I'm taking a bunch of cuttings of some plants that I'm just like super unhappy with. And what I'm gonna do is those plants, okay, Alex, lesson. Yes. They come from okay. nodes, okay? Plants have nodes, and the nodes are what your plants actually grow from. Is this a whole, is this whole thing from, increase the, the stress and make it grow? Okay, so nodes, right. Nodes are the part of the plant that have all of the, hey, it's time to grow now hormone, right? And it's not a hormone, by the way. I don't know why I called it a hormone. Your node gets cut is it's like, oh, okay, we're gonna do things. And so nodes have something called an axillary bud. And axillary buds are really cool because that's where the new growth is gonna start from. It's like, it, pretend that humans could like grow their fingers back. If I cut your finger off at like the top knuckle, it would like, it would grow back from that point pretty much, okay? I am going to take all of the little tiny nodes and I'm gonna replant them like all over. They're gonna look like tiny little stumps for there a while, for a while, and then they'll grow in. It's so backlit, so I'm doing my best. <laughs> but it's kind of difficult. Here, I should show them my cuttings. Here's my pile of cuttings, you guys. You see them? So in this pile, I have uh, Philodendron Plowmanii, Philodendron Mamei, I have Philodendron Splendid, Philodendron Glorious, Philodendron Varicosum, and then a bunch of tiny like, oh, and I have a Majestic in here as well. Um, that has a ton of nodes, and so we're gonna cut all of these into little pieces, and I'm just gonna, oh, and I have a Syngonium Albo in here, and we're just gonna stick them, we're gonna stick them all over the place, and I'll, I'll give you a tour at the end when we're done, and I'm sorry, I know it's so fucking hard to see, but, um, you know, that's just, that's the way the ball bounces. To be honest. Well, it was set up in the system, obviously, because I was receiving, you know, automated texts saying the opinion that if they don't come today, I'm dropping them. I mean, I think like, that's smart. Make you set aside an entire day because we won't say even a time range of when we'll come out. Yeah, obviously. that's so fucking funny. All day long. And like, they sent me a survey about my call literally before the call had ended. That's funny. Cool, and it'll take some time, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, water everything with liquid art, but I wanna show you this because it's telling me my battery's gonna die, so yeah. I took all those cuttings from up here because it was getting too, too, uh, too tall. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna end this video a little bit fast because I don't wanna put another battery in and do stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think that this turned out really good. And uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.